The next award is named after Norman Zinberg. Norman Zinberg was a brilliant professor at Harvard Medical School. He was a character. He wrote a classic book, Drug Set and Setting. He was a teacher to many, including Andy Weil and many of other people. Um, and we give this award out for accomplishment in the field of treating addiction and drugs as a health issue. That's what it's about. So I'm going to ask to come up and, and give out this award somebody who once received another award, the big one, the Dennis Award, who's also in the past been a chief coroner, a mayor of a major city, Vancouver, currently a senator from Canada, a key law enforcement person. Larry Campbell, you come up and introduce, give this award, please, to Zhao Gulao and the Portuguese Institute of Health. Good evening. Uh, I'm on the board of DPA, and I want you to know that I did not pick the plants that are sitting here, I would have had it entirely different if it had been my choice. <laughs> I also want to point out that uh, Ethan decided not to name the person who is getting this award, not because he doesn't know who he is, but he can't pronounce his name. <laughs> wow, Castel Bronco Glau. Close. People know me as a sensitive, caring, kind individual. And I have to tell you that the statement that I'm going to give to you now almost made me weep. And it comes from the person who's getting this award. In Portugal, we fight the illness, not the people who suffer from it. <laughs> And I believe that that covers all of the bases for this person. Portugal was a country that was a dictatorship for many decades, and they were sheltered from any kind of drugs because it was a closed society and you couldn't get in, and if you were caught with drugs, bad things would happen to you. But when it became a democracy, the award winner stepped forward and was the architect of government policy that decriminalized drugs for the first time, to my knowledge, in any country in the world. He is the president of Portugal's Institute of Drugs and Drug Addiction, and he's the chair of the European Monitor uh, uh, Monitoring Center on Drugs and Drug Addiction, which covers all of Europe. This is a huge, huge undertaking. And he said to me, while we're outside having a cigarette, <laughs> that this is a health issue and not a criminal issue. And we've all been saying that. This person lived it. He took it to his government, he took it to the people of Portugal, and he made it a health issue and not a criminal issue. Even the United Nations, and you know, you know the reverence I hold for the United Nations drug policy, <laughs> grudgingly recognized, and that's, they didn't say grudgingly, but they did recognize that decriminalization has led to significant societal changes for the better, and the for better is mine, it's not theirs. Please welcome, okay, you ready for this? This is better than him, Huao Kulao. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, DPA. Thank you, all of you, because I learned a lot in this conference. Uh, and I, uh, I think I charge my energy uh, for, the next, for the next few years. Um, unfortunately, uh, we don't have the same 
uh, way to communicate that uh, I, I learned during the, the closing ceremony. Uh, all that energy, and I can't, I'm not as fluent in English as I would like, and I uh, can't communicate in the same way. But anyway, what I would like to, to tell you is we are very, very proud of this award. I, I, I'm speaking on behalf of all the men and women that work every day and they give the, their best uh, on the service of the, of, of the drug addicts and the, to solve the problems of addiction in my country. I'm, I'm proud of having uh, with, with them, with a vast team of people, having contributed to the, big, to the end of the beginning of the end of the war on drugs. Uh, I think we did it 12 years ago. It was not easy. I think I must give a word of uh, appraisal to the politicians that at that time had the courage to, uh, to support our proposals. Uh, they were really brave at that time. And uh, some, of, some of them, you may have heard about them. Jorge Sampaio, our former president of the Republic, who, who recently joined the Global Commission on Drugs. Uh, and José Socrates, uh, our former prime minister, at that time the minister of youth, with whom I worked uh, directly, and and who was really very supportive of this reform. I, I won't uh, bother you with the, the pillars of our policies, of, of our results. You, all of you know about it. We are really proud to take part on this reform and to be on board of, on that train that is moving really fast now. Thank you very much.